Hello, my name is Bernardo Meyer from Tuxera and I'm responsible for automotive sales in Europe. What we would like to share with you today is a demonstration on fragmentation in today's memory for automotive systems and what it can do to your system over time. Now, before we go into that, let me explain the setup that we have here. On both sides, we are seeing here an Intel-based system, which is equipped with an automotive grade SSD. And as we do have two systems, obviously there is a comparison. Now, on this side, we do have the open source EXT4 file system. And on the other side, we do have Taxira's Velocity FS flash optimized file system. Now, what we are simulating here is a nine channel data stream consisting of a couple of video channels and then also other channels, other data that you will find in today's event data recorders or dashboard cameras or similar applications. Now, what happens here? Now, we are talking about fragmentation. Fragmentation is something naturally happening if you again and again write things into the same memory, delete old information, overwrite it again, particularly with bigger files, then you will end up that the information will be spread out on different places called fragmentation. And down there in the diagrams, you can see that very clearly where on this side, the fragmentation from a visual perspective already looks much higher than on the other side where things still look a bit more consistent. But besides the optical effect, what does it really do to your system? Now, from a write performance in that particular case, we do not see a lot of difference. It's all at the same level here with regard to writing because it's a fixed speed stream. So naturally there cannot be a lot of deviation between the two different systems. But what we will recognize is the write amplification factor that is different. Write amplification means that if, for, in, for example, if I want to write one byte, then it's not possible to just write that one byte into the memory. I will end up writing much more bytes that's dependent on the cluster size, but it's also dependent on the application, the file system, and the flash controller. Now, we end up with 1.3 and even more on the open source side, and around 1.1 to 1.2 on the uh, flash optimized file system side. And that's also dependent on the application, of course. But what one can say is that on this side, definitely there's much more data being written for the same net data amount, which means more write cycles to the flash memory, decreasing the lifetime, putting it the different way on the flash optimized file system velocity FS, the lifetime of the flash memory can be increased that way. Now, what we also see here is latency, latency during read. And uh, that translates into read performance, where on the open source side, we end up with translated 340 megabyte per second read speed, where on the optimized side, we can achieve up to 500 megabytes per second. And depending on the application and the requirements, that of course will make a big difference. Now, as a summary, what we have seen today is that fragmentation actually does have an impact in, uh, with regard to the performance of the system, with regard of the lifetime of the system, because there's different write amplification factors. And with the flash optimized system, you can make your system much more reliable and um, increase the performance, um, increase the lifetime of the flash memory. So thank you very much.